In this short tutorial, we're going to be looking at how we can um, request client to register a domain and how to guide the client uh, through the domain registration process. Uh, let us say that Peter Kornoff is our uh, client and he wants to register a domain and he wants to use our services. We always register a domain for a client um, by having the client do that um, and we guide the client over the phone through that process. The reason why we do that is we want to make sure that the client holds uh, access to his domain name and he's responsible for the domain name, um, including the um, renewal fees and uh, what, uh, and re renewal timelines also ma to make sure that he actually has a credit card um, that they will be charging um, for the domain so we're taking off that responsibility from our business all right so let's get started we have a client peter Korniff, and he wants to order domain the first thing that we'll ask is um, let's pretend that i'm actually on the phone with the client i will say um, Hello, Peter. So the first thing that we'll be doing is we're going to be going to the website called ionos.com. So let's go to incognito window, ionos.com. By the way, uh, we're going to uh, go back a little bit here. Whenever a client is searching for a domain name, my recommendation is to help a client find domain name. So um, that can be um, the best way to search for domain names is by going to webaker.com hosting and domains. Uh, which is located over here and then you can search for whatever the main name um, that you want for a client my recommendation is to always go with .com uh, or .org but uh, try to stick with .com there are a, a lot better domain names to work with people are used to .coms so this domain name is available so that's what we'll be using for for the client um, during the phone call, uh, once you're um, on the phone with a client, uh, we're going to go and create a folder for a client. If the folder isn't here yet, um, create one. If the folder is already here, that's fine. Okay. Uh, just name it uh, with the name of the company. Alright, so. Um, we're going to go to template, uh, copy all of the files here, go here, drop the files here, um, and you'll have access folder over here. Okay. Once you're inside the access file, Excel spreadsheet, um, type in IONOS domain. And over here, we're going to go and copy IONOS.com as a login location. Now, username could be a person of the email or the domain name. Uh, my recommendation is to stick with the actual email address. So we're going to copy client's email address, going to paste it here. <coughs> now, the password, they haven't created it yet, and we'll, we'll do that now. In the notes, I, I like to put their domain name. So they're going to be registering cornf 25 So that's what we'll be using here. Dot com. All right. So now I, it's as if I'm speaking to Peter. Okay. So I'll say hello, Peter. So let's go to Ionos. Uh, I is an ice cream. O is an orange. N is an Nancy. O is an orange. S is an Sam. Dot com. Of course, uh, spell it out a little bit short. Uh, take a bit of time to spell it out to make sure that they uh, can access the website. It's best that if they that they use a desktop computer uh, on cell phones, it doesn't really work that w very well. So uh, just make sure that the client is by a computer. Um, then you'll ask a, a client to find your domain now um, search box, which is the first thing. Typically, they don't have any problem locating that. And uh, I ask them to type in the domain name. Um, Make sure that they tap in .com and then click check. Okay, now that they have uh, checked it, it, it's available. Um, you will ask them to make sure that you they, they click add to cart button at the very top. Click that. And once they're here, tell them to go all the way down. 
don't select anything else go all the way down and you'll be see, be able to see continue button click continue right now they're going to have this screen that will come up in front of them make sure that they select domain only so typically i say on the left side there is um, a box called domain the very first on the left side it's one dollar per year and then it says domain on the on the button click that once they select that option at the very top uh, they will have continue button click that continue button now um, it will ask them if um, uh, uh, it will ask them if they want to check out with paypal or continue to check out uh, click continue to check out now if it's a business they would select a business account if it's personal they will select uh, personal uh, they'll need to type in all of the information here once all of the information is pre-filled make sure you ask them what password did they use that's really important because we need to make sure that we have the password so I ask client to save the password and spell it out for you during the stage when they are creating the password so they will tell you the password enter the password right over here in the password section make sure you save it regularly and then you click continue to the, to the payment section so you ask a person to continue to the payment section in this case usually a client is um, able to finish uh, the whole thing um, by themselves once they pass that stage and there is no other additional uh, tricks in here everything should process smoothly they'll enter their credit card information and then they will continue to order review and that's pretty much it now in terms of the um uh, next steps is that they will get an email uh, most likely they will get an email uh, to ask to verify that they want to register that domain name so make sure that you ask them to uh, to look at that email uh, and if they get an email to just confirm that they want to register that domain name once the domain name is registered we have access to to their domain uh, account so we'll be able to take it on from there they will have a prompt in their ionos account that will tell them uh, and they're also going to get an email that they can configure their domain name tell them not to do anything with that domain name they don't need to configure it we're going to be doing that on our own so as far as they are concerned once they go through the steps outlined here they are done with domain configuration the rest of the stuff we'll be doing ourselves so that's how we can uh, guide a client through the main registration process and uh, by doing that that domain name belongs to the client not a web development agency and that's our uh, goal thank you